Hello friends, I'm Rich Bowen. I'm the community manager for the CentOS project. This is the October 2021 edition of the CentOS news update. The big news in October was the CentOS Dojo. On the 7th and 8th of this month, we had a virtual dojo featuring technical presentations from around the CentOS community. One of the highlights of the event was the session we kicked off with, which was an Ask Me Anything session with the Board of Directors. The governance of the CentOS project is what we call bicameral, and that means that technical decisions are made at the SIG and project level, and the Board of Directors is responsible for governance and keeping the project going. However, there's a lot of overlap in these things, and this was reflected in the questions and answers that came up during this session. There were a lot of technical questions about CentOS Stream, and there were a number of questions about the direction that the project is going in the future. So I encourage you to watch that session as well as the other sessions during the dojo. Another particularly interesting session from the dojo was a presentation by Brian Exelbeard entitled, What Does Red Hat Want? While most of the dojo was about the project and the direction that the community is driving, it's also of great interest to keep track of what Red Hat wants out of the project. Understanding Red Hat's motivations can help understand some of the decisions that are made by the company about the project. And it can also highlight what space is available for the community to fill in places that Red Hat doesn't care about. So I encourage you to watch that presentation as well. Of particular interest to me were updates from some of our new special interest groups, including the Automotive SIG, the Hyperscale SIG, and the KMODS SIG, the Kernel Modules SIG. These are all fairly new. Some of them are still kind of in the startup phase. And so if you're not familiar with what they're working on, those sessions will help you get up to speed with what they're doing and where they're headed. In the news this month, we heard that CERN has decided that CentOS Stream is going to be their default operating system for new deployments going forward. We're really pleased with this ringing endorsement of what we're doing in CentOS Stream, and we really feel that it speaks to the quality of what we're producing with CentOS Stream. We encourage you to read their presentation and the reasons that they give for this decision because we feel it might address some of the concerns that other users have had about CentOS Stream, even though they're not running the same kind of enormous infrastructure that CERN does. In this month's community newsletter, we had reports from a number of our special interest groups, including Hyperscale, Automotive, KMODS, Software Collections, and also a report from CPE, the Community Platform Engineering team that does a lot of the infrastructure work for both Fedora and the CentOS project. Also in October, we've started slowly to return to the conference circuit. I was at Open Source Summit in Seattle earlier this month. It was smaller than most years, but we still had a pretty good turnout. We had a lot of people coming to the booth asking questions about CentOS Stream. And we're also looking forward to being at All Things Open next week in Raleigh. So if you are there, please do drop by the Red Hat booth and say hi. For more information on some of these topics, please see the October newsletter linked below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at some of our upcoming events.